That's what happens to problematic people like Cheryl. Like, you act messy on TV, you gotta look messy in real life. I better look good. Okay, we could work with it when I get older. <laughs> oh no, it's that, I don't even know what it is. It's like an app or something that makes, your, makes you look like older. I've seen this everywhere. This is the, like the old person trend thing. So we got the Jonas Brothers, when you take a trip to the year 3000. Oh no, face up. I tried this and it was the most humbling thing of my life. I'm not gonna age well, so good to know. It's scary how like accurate it is. I think it's funny, cause you kind of get to like take a glimpse like into the future. I've seen it like through Instagram, but I don't have it myself. I would, I feel like I would never like use that. That's really weird, like scanning your face and stuff. Like you really don't know what they're gonna do with that. This trend is so insane, which is weird because it's already been a trend and it just kind of came back randomly. Like same app, but it just disappeared and came back a couple years later. Oh, LeBron James. Oh, okay. He looks really old. He looks like he does not look like himself. Just imagine like seeing him like at a game like this old. Come on, he looks great. And it looks unbelievably real. I've seen a lot of apps like these, like there was one called like the Fat Booth, like way back in the day, like on the old iPhones. And like that was like pretty bad quality and didn't even really work well. But this app, like, genuinely looks pretty good. Oh my god, is that the Avengers? I can't. That's weird, because Thor already looks like a mess. <laughs> they look good. Like, if they were to do this 20 years from now, like another Avengers, like, reboot, I think it would be really cool. Mark Ruffalo looks so old. That's so funny. I didn't know that everybody was doing this stuff. I only saw, like, a few on Twitter. Usually with, like, trends like this, it's, like, I don't know, celebrities don't usually partake in them. It's kind of cool that we're all like bonding over this like funny app. <laughs> oh my God, Riverdale. No. You see, that's what happens to problematic people like Cheryl. Like you act messy on TV, you gotta look messy in real life. Why do people use this so much? Like I look at the appeal. Oh my God. I would not have been able to tell that that was them at all. They look like the witches. Yeah, which is from Hocus Pocus. This is making me feel a lot better because mine kind of looks a lot like this. And these are all like famous people and beautiful actors and stuff. So I'm just like, word. It's crazy how pretty impressive this for a free app that may or may not be trying to, you know, steal all our information and destroy the world. Oh God, Noah Centineo. Yeah, he, he almost looks like he could be like a mall Santa, but like if he grew out the beard more. <laughs> just the way it does all the hair. Like every single strand of hair, like you can't even tell that it's a, uh, that it's like a fake thing. FaceApp really got the hair coloring and everything right too. Those Russians know what they're doing. Is that Snooki? Oh no! It definitely like looks like makeup or something. It doesn't look like a filter. Imagine like a Jersey Shore, like <laughs> 2070 or something like that. I mean like, it would just be like hilarious. If Polly D still kept his hair just gelled back to that age, nothing would make me happier. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> ah. Like it's even like the like, it's almost like they pull in the eyes, like the sunken eyes and the wrinkles under the eyes. Like everything is just in such detail. Wait, why does she still look good? She looks like her dad. Doesn't she look like Billy Ray Cyrus? That's so weird. Cause like, you're so used to seeing these people young and like you grow up with them so like seeing them like what you will like an event eventually it's gonna be so like weird to see because you're not like used to it at all so at pharrell tried the face app and still nothing oh because <laughs> everyone's like he's a vampire which i low-key agree with pharrell won't age and i will stand by that like there's no way he will age he still looks exactly the same just like a little you know Tiny little dimple on the cheek there, that's about it though. Pharrell will look like that when he's 65 or 70, and he could pass as like a good 50. When you enter on social networks and you're the only one who doesn't use it, how does that face up? That's me though. That's literally me. Like I've seen so many people use it and I'm just like, oh no, why would you ever do that to yourself? I have not downloaded it. I have not tried it out. I don't know why, I just, I guess I'm lazy. But like literally everyone's doing it and I'm just like, ah, like it's just crazy. That is me. I've never used face app, so <laughs> that's how I feel. I see this literally every day flood in my timeline. I was gonna not download it, but then I was like, I really wanted to see like how I look with like bang, cause that it also does it. So I caved in. Literally me going through my timeline today. 
No! No! That's exactly how it felt, though. I couldn't go more than like two scrolls without seeing one. It was like the first day it happened, everyone, celebrities, people were posting on their stories. Like, it was a big deal very quickly. It's like funny, like to an extent, but it's just like, I feel that this is another outlet for people to kind of like judge themselves like, oh no, is that how I'm gonna look like when I'm older? Like, let me change this about me. Everyone's freaking out that the Russians made this app, but like, we've all put our faces online. We all have face ID. Your face is just all over, like who even knows where it is? So it's like, why is this so much different than anything else that we do? So you just saw some celebrities and memes getting involved with the viral app, Face App. We wanted to see you guys give the app a shot and we're gonna get into this a little bit more later, but some are concerned about the privacy issues of the app company having access to your photos. So knowing this, do you still wanna try the Face App? Not really. I have plenty of relatives who are older and I can get like a sense of what I may look like, but I'd rather just like wait for that moment. Yeah, of course, like so many things like need to know your social. Like I'm not tripping about an app doing my photos. Instagram does the same thing. Everyone's like, oh my God, like they have your photos, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, so does Snapchat and so does Instagram and so does Facebook. They have our face. Like there's nothing we can do. Like there is no hiding at this point. I'm excited. Do old. Oh my God, I hope, I hope I don't look like that. Oh my God. Processing, the, oh, oh, that's disgusting. Age. Like so ugly, I better look good. Okay, we could work with it when I get older. <laughs> Bro. This is so funny. I do kind of look like my mom's dad, like a little bit. I look kind of like my grandfather. If you saw him, I do, I do look a lot like him. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not looking cute. I thought I would be like one of those like cute old ladies, but I don't think that's gonna be me. Like, <laughs> I'm a little scared. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. That is terrifying. See, now I'm gonna be thinking about this and it's gonna be like in the back of my mind, like if that's what I'm gonna look like. Like I shouldn't have to worry about that until I am 80. And now I'm 14 and stressing about it. All right, go ahead and play around with some of the other filters. Um, let's do bangs. That's not cute. Okay, so hairstyles, let's see. If you do bangs. <gasps> Oh my God, it gave me side bangs. I've always wanted to know like how I would look with bangs, but like now that like I see it, like I'm no, never gonna do that. A beard. <laughs> what do you think? I honestly, I don't look too bad with a beard. I'm happy I tried it out. Thanks guys. So, FaceApp has gone viral in the past when people were using the app to see what they would look like as the opposite gender and then aging themselves as well. And we covered this trend on the React channel too. Were you in it? Yes, I was. Minus the wrinkles, I look like my mom. I've never seen resemblance in my mom before in me. But now they've added several features and have updated their technology to make the pictures better and has once again gone viral. Oh. Maybe that's what I remember then, because I was saying earlier how I remember like I felt like that app was a thing before. So what is it with this kind of thing with like FaceApp and like Snapchat filters that makes it go viral over and over again? I think it's just the people's obsession with seeing what you could look like. It is fascinating because everybody wants to do it, including myself. It's like entertainment. Like who doesn't want to see themselves as like an opposite gender, like older. It's weird to see something that hasn't happened. It's, I at least for me, nearly impossible to gauge how I would look as an older person. Now that it looks more realistic, we're like, oh crap, like this looks really real. It's not as cheesy as it was before. So it's more of like a shock factor when you like can post it to your friends. If they come out with an update saying like the technology's better and like you look better with the photos and more people are you know, inclined to try it again. And then obviously this one person's like, bro, I look crazy old. You gotta try it. And then you gotta try it. And then boom, boom, boom. So as we mentioned earlier, there have been some security concerns surfacing around the app. Like the app was created by Wireless Lab, which is headquartered in St. Petersburg, Russia. Y'all did not tell me that earlier. Well, it's okay, I already went to St. Petersburg this summer, so. 
They got me, they got me. Like. This caused concerns for the U.S. Democratic National Committee who have urged the 2020 campaign staff and people in the Democratic ecosystem not to use the app. That's kind of crazy. We get our information taken like so easily by just doing careless things like downloading games or like, and we don't even think about it. You just think it's a harmless app for real, but like, there's a lot that goes on behind that and it really does raise some eyebrows. Do you think because the app is from Russia and their involvement in this hacking scandal in the US that there's more to be worried about than if the app came out from another country? I think regardless, it should be something people worry about, like whether it's like Russia or like in any other country, because it is like a security issue. Yes, it's a concern and it should be looked into. Most likely, maybe they're just trying to make money. I was afraid of that and I didn't even know it came from Russia. People will kind of overlook things, but seeing as how like we have a history with that country, it's just kind of put in our heads like not to trust. Nah, I mean maybe raise like some concerns, but I don't think look into it too much. You have a lot of information in your phone and it's so easily corrupted and we don't even know. <laughs> it could be an issue for sure, or it could just be completely innocent and not an issue at all, and we're just overthinking it. Others are even making videos calling out the face app terms of service that state, amongst other things, that they have the right to your image, including the unedited image, to put filters on it and use it however they want. I think that's kind of like sad in a way because you're giving up like yourself. It makes us think maybe we should definitely read the like terms and agreement before we even do anything. I guess that makes sense. Like honestly, I'm sure if you go into terms and conditions of any of these other apps that have gone viral in the past, it would have said similar things. While others are stating that the terms of service aren't really that bad and they fall closely in line with other apps like Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I, I think that whole terms of service thing, I think it just ignorance is bliss when it comes to that. Like, has anyone ever sat down and just read the iTunes Terms of Service? Nobody's got it. It's like 60-something pages. Definitely, like, Instagram, like, owns your pictures, and we don't even think about that. Certain things like this, immediately we're like, oh, this is an issue, but it's like, no, it's kind of similar to everything else. As a teen in 2019, do you ever read the Terms of Service? Um, no. I don't really read the Terms of Service. I'd actually love to know someone who actually does read it. Maybe my mom, because she's a lawyer. I, like, scroll to the bottom, click the little check mark, and I just be on my way. <laughs> I've never read one in my life. A lot of the stuff like is pretty like like pretty like lawful and like professional and like most of it probably goes over like most people's heads. No, I, I never have because technology is so quick nowadays. No one really wants to sit there and put in the time to read like the contract and they just kind of want, they want the instant like um, accessibility to the app. I hate to say it, but no. We don't go to the level of the government or whatever. Like it's just not how our minds work as teenagers. We're just like, oh, whatever, screw the government. We're gonna have fun and use this app. Well, it seems like almost everything we use with this technology has these terms and services. Maybe they aren't great, but we still use them anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm still probably going to use the app. As someone who grew up in the digital era, do you ever think about, like, the fact that you're giving away your rights or privacy when you're using these types of things? Yeah, I do. Kind of worry about that sometimes, because there's like a, there's a whole South Park episode about that. I'm honestly just kind of numb to a lot of the stuff that goes on nowadays with technology. I think about it like every now and then, but I, because it's so common and it's something that we've kind of grown up with, it's really common to just give away like you're right through the social media app. We like the idea of it, but at the same time, it actually doesn't really exist anymore, especially in an age of technology. Our privacy really is just out the window. and We just like to pretend like we have it. It's giving away some of my privacy, but I still feel as though social media and what's online is so far from my actual life that people who are not in my life have actually no idea what's going on. And finally, after learning a little bit about this today, do you think you will read the terms of service more carefully from now on and avoid these apps and tech that seem to have too many rights and privacies or not? For sure, I would definitely like look more in depth now. I'll definitely not read the terms and services. No, I don't have time for that, bro. If it's some random thing that for some reason I haven't heard of and that nobody is, you know, downloading them yet. Maybe I'll skim through it now, but I don't think it's really gonna change, yeah, what I do on the app or it's not gonna stop me from downloading it. I'm gonna stick to my ignorance is bliss thing from before. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I wanna say yeah, but I really don't think I can promise myself or anyone else that I will be doing that. Probably not. I'm usually late to the party anyway, so with apps coming out, like, I'll probably wait a bit 
if I haven't heard anything, if everything's going smoothly for everyone else, I'll probably just like hop on the train. Thanks for watching us age on this episode of Teens React, and shout out to Raspberry Lemonade. Subscribe already, I'm getting old here. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey guys, Rutui here. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at FBE to get a behind the scenes look at everything FBE does and to find out when auditions are. Bye guys, see you there.